This is example number three. We have 10 minus one third brackets a plus two and that is equal to one quarter brackets a plus twenty one So again, we have an equation with fractions. Thinking back to rules, the first thing we have to do is remove any fractions we have attached to letters. Now we have one third on this side and we have one quarter on this side. In order to remove both fractions at the same time, we have to think of the lowest common multiple. That's the lowest number that both 3 and 4 goes into. The lowest number that both 3 and 4 goes into is 12. So we're going to multiply both sides of the equation by 12 in order to make the fractions disappear. So we'll write this line out again, but this time times in both by 12. So first of all we have 12 times, and we'll put this in brackets, and this time we'll just use big square brackets, 10 minus 1 third A plus 2, and close a big bracket, and on the right hand side again, so that the fraction stays true, we need to multiply both sides by the same amount. So 12 times 1 quarter brackets A plus 21 and close our big brackets. Okay, what we want to do now is multiply through by 12. So first of all, 12 times 10 is 120. Then put our minus sign down. 12 times 1 third A plus 2. Well, that gives us 12 thirds A plus 2. On the right hand side, 12 times 1 quarter a plus 21. That gives us 12 quarters A plus 21. If we've done it correctly, at this point our fractions should simplify and disappear. So we have first of all 120 minus, and then we have 12 over 3, that's 12 divided by 3, which gives us 4, brackets A plus 2. And on the right hand side, 12 over 4, which is 12 divided by 4, that's 3, brackets A plus 21. The next thing we have to do in order to solve our equation is remove our brackets. So first thing, we'll put down our 120 again. Then we have minus 4 times A, which is minus 4A. Then minus 4 times plus 2, which is minus 8. On the right hand side, 3 times A, which is 3A and 3 times 21, which is 63. What we can do now is simplify where possible. 
once we do that, we're going to put our letters on the left and numbers on the right. But first of all, to simplify, well, we have some like terms on this side. 120 minus 8 is 112. So we have minus 40 plus 112 equals 3a plus 63. Next thing we do is put our letters to the left and numbers to the right. So looking along the line, the first thing that has to move is plus 112. And the other thing that needs to move is our 3a. Putting down the things that are staying where they are, first of all, we have minus 4a on the left-hand side, and we have 63 on the right-hand side. Plus 112, change side, change sign, becomes minus 112. 3a, which means plus 3a, move it across, it becomes minus 3a. Minus 4a minus 3a is minus 7a. And that is equal to 63 minus 112. That gives us minus 49. We have minus 7a equals minus 49. At this point, the best thing to do is multiply through by minus 1, which changes our signs from negative to positive. So 7a equals 49. 7a equals 49. So that means a is equal to 49 divided by 7. 49 divided by 7 is equal to 7. So our answer is A equals 7. And that's our final answer.